Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing data. This is standard 3.8a in the great state of Texas, and we are looking at number 36 off the 2016 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a bar graph and some tables over here that we need to match up. And so the graph tells us that Lincoln is riding his bike, and he's riding his bike over six weeks. Looks like he's riding his bike an awful lot. And so we need to find the table that best represents the information in this graph. And the only trick here is that this graph has some missing numbers. So you see we go from zero, and we've got a line there, and then it goes to 12. So it looks like we're skip counting by 12, but we need to fill in those missing numbers and then go ahead and just put a number next to each of these. And so really when we're looking at 0 to 12, so think of 0 and then think of 12. And we got to think what comes right in between 0 and 12. What number can we double to make 12? And most of you are thinking 6, and if you're thinking 6, you are correct. Because if we 6 plus 6 makes 12. And so let's see if the same thing would work with here. Let's see if we can just do that. 12 and 24. So if I added 6, let's see what happens if I add 6. 12 plus 6 is 18. That works. Does 18 plus 6 make 24? Yes, it does. So there we go. So we can go ahead and start filling these in. So that's 24. Just keep adding 6 is 30. 42. We don't have anything going to the very end, but if we did, it would be 54. So now that we have a complete uh, graph, and the reason that we don't have a complete graph is because in the third grade, uh, we have what we call scaled intervals. That means we're not always counting by one. And we expect you as a third grader to be able to kind of fill in the blanks on a missing graph here. So we have a scaled interval. That's fine. We're actually counting by sixes rather than counting by ones. We're skip counting by sixes all the way from zero up to 54. Now we can actually put numbers next to each of these. And that's going to be the most helpful. So it's going to be the hardest for number one, just because it's at the very top. we got to draw this line all the way down. But let's just put a 36 right here. And then once again, two is at one of these missing lines. So that's a little bit hard as well. It's going to be 18. And same with number three. Look at that. They really make you understand how to find these scaled intervals. Uh, number four is 30. That doesn't go on one of the numbered lines. There we go. On week five, we finally get 48, which was a number that was given to us. And then we have 42 again on week six. So what we need to do is we need to take that information and we need to match it up. And quite honestly, the simplest way to do that, we can look at it from here. We can start going F, G, H, and J. But since our answer is going to be in a table, we might as well uh, just kind of make our own table. I don't need to label it, but I'm just going to write 1, and we said 36. 2, and we said 18. 3 is 42. 4 is 30. 5 is 48. Now all we got to do is match it up and take a look at this. 1, 36. Guess what? All four answer choices have 1 and 36. So you cannot just look at that first week and say, ooh, I found a 36. That's not going to work. So that is good. Let's see what we can do with 2 and 18. So look at F already messes you up. It says 2 and 14. It had the wrong scaled interval. Therefore, F is incorrect. 2 and 18. That looks good. 2 and 24 is incorrect. Uh, they went to the, the complete number, the whole number, rather than the scaled interval. So that's wrong. We've got 2 and 18. So right now it's H and J. So let's look at 3 and 42. 3 and 42. 3 and 42. Yes. 4 and 30. 4 and 30, 4 and 30, 5 and 48, uh, 5 and 42, 5 and 48, 6 and 42, our answer is J.